<coughs> have your faces on the we this call like is like uh, to see like how much we are interacting just uh, without doing anything else uh, i like like uh, when people are switch on their camera so we know how the interact i can see the facial expressions and everything so the second thing called uh, let's do like this so today agenda what we were planned is first myself i'm going to give you the introduction about power apps why power apps and what you can do all those Secondly, Shamit is going to do a demonstration on doing Canvas application, few activities. After that, normally there is a program called App Registration in Microsoft. Let's approach this in the same way. So first approach is, today we are going to do this uh, introduction. Secondly, a demo. Thirdly, your requirement list <clears throat> plan as a development. So I believe in here, BA guys are here. Let's do the diagram. Let's uh, set up the, all the power ups and map and everything. And we'll make sure you guys develop this application with us in parallel to this session. Uh, what about how you think about that, Colton? Will it be okay with you? Yeah, that is brilliant. That's good. You know, so, okay. Yeah. Okay, then, uh, so guys, it's nice to see you all in the one meeting room. Okay. What I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to share my screen. Give me one second. Mm. Yeah, while you are sharing the screen, uh, uh, Shamira, but uh, yeah. we can do a project management uh, similar course to your with my, Please. you know, experience here. Okay, you all can see my screen, right? I, yeah, I can see your screen. Hey guys, you have to respond now. Yeah, the first rule in this session, it should be interactive. If you uh, like uh, not be about any point, just uh, raise your hands and keep ask question. That will be helpful to just have an interactive session. Okay, so uh, let's start. <clears throat> so this session is going to be about Power Platform. <clears throat> Today agenda is like, <clears throat> give you a brief understanding not brief it will be broad why power app what you can achieve with power app why we should move with power app this kind of cloud one robot application then we are going to have another uh, practical demonstration by uh, one of my team member my colleague uh, chami marisha <coughs> called the gave me uh, about introduction about myself so but uh, i'll briefly do it again so i'm shamir pajapri founder CEO of impact it and the principal architect so I've been a Microsoft MVP for the last seven years, considering years uh, in Azure Technologies. Uh, I'm a hands-on developer as well. The second person who is joining with me, Chamit Nadishan, uh, he's a software engineer, uh, mainly leading the Power Platform team. Okay. So let's see, that is my next slide, okay. Challenges in building applications. So called to uh, introduce that uh, to the uh, audience. Who are joining with us today are technical savvy people. So these are basic. This is a standard Microsoft presentation we are following. So these are the challenges when you are doing application. Uh, it uh, regardless the technology, it can be a .NET, it can be Java, it can be anything. But you have to face these challenges. First one is budget budget constraints. What is this budget constraint? So as IT resources, you should understand uh, how the project works. So the best experience per, per person is called. Uh, I'm just highlighting this because when we are getting a project from a customer, there is a budget. It's our expense plus profit. So our expense, all the expenses include your salaries and everything. So if we are not able, if we are not able to deliver this project within this allocated budget, it means company is going lost. 
So how the budget defined when it comes to software development? Basically, time taken to deliver this project, including BA uh, development, QA. So I'm just three scenarios, including PM also. So this budget constraint, say customers always asking, I need this solution by next week. Always they are saying, uh, say normally we say in the software development terms, uh, customer wants a solution by yesterday. That's how they work. So to train to move with this local code, no code platforms, one of the key reasons is this budget. How fast we can deliver. That is the second thing, time and resource constraints. So if you're saying, if you're going to lock our resources for a one month, two months for a project, so there is no opportunity for getting another project. So we need to cover all the cost within this project for all entire two months. So that is why these are these two key things are interconnected, budget, time, and resources. So business expectation. Business expectation, when it come, always clients come in a say, we recently experienced the same scenario. They say, when we see, when we feel the application only, we can give you feedback. Even after presenting wireframes, business logic, SRS, everything. But again, they comes to us and say, Okay, just now we realize after going through with your application, most thing happened during the UAT period. So business expectation is like customizations and everything, adopting changes. Sometimes uh, even we try to convince the uh, client, this is a CR, change request, but then say, okay, it's, it cannot be like uh, once we see your application only, we can realize, okay, we need this likewise. They come. Then paper process. So when you come to, you know, uh, Typical software development, how much of paper process is involved from a proposal initiator part to business requirement gathering, wireframing, and everything. Complex processes, say, as example, complex process. Say, since you're technical, uh, guys, I'm getting this example. Say, uh, if you wanted to develop an application with a one web uh, interface, say, and a web API, how much of codings and technology is going to involve? You might be thinking about taking the front end or bootstrap or other framework and going back end with .NET Core and building APIs and connecting database and other service layer. So to create a one simple CRUD operation, I believe CRUD operation, you know, we about CRUD operation, select, update, delete, other CRUD operations. Okay, select, create, update, delete. We call CRUD operation. So mainly, if you take a simple interface, these are the CRUD. To achieve that thing, you have to spend minimum 16 hours if you're going to build from sketch. So that is we call complex processor. But this is not a complex, but I said that kind of heavy work is going to involve if you're going with native languages. The things IT business partnership is again involved with business expectation and everything. So how we are going to handle everything. So we have to compromise a lot of things from our way. As a, before we start meeting, what was called the uh, explain the same thing. When we are, when we are negotiating with the clients, always can't ask, okay, just give us, we will just uh, think about the next project and we are giving a lot of projects. So that is common of partnership. So legacy system maintenance. What is this legacy system? So uh, how software become a legacy? Normally, when we develop an application, software application, we give a warranty for five years. We want out a warranty, we guarantee for five years. How we guarantee for five years? So when we have a software application developed, normally that technology, if we start the application develop on .NET Core, so to, uh, now .NET Core 8 is public. We can use for the production. Azure environment is updated and everything is updated. So, my life, I started with .NET 4.5, and then we all have our own software development, 4.5 to .NET uh, Core 3.1, 3.2, likewise. Now it has changed up to .NET Core 8. So technology always, day by day, getting updated. That is why we say, if we develop an application with today technology, it will be guaranteed for the next five years. So as an example, I'm giving you an example. See, if you have used Windows XP, all desktop machines. So think about if you are going to run application which you developed on today technologies, it may be slow, but hardware performance are super fast. 
So that is why we have is a collaboration between the hardware technologies, uh, software technologies, everything. So technology is getting updated. We have to make sure our applications are up to date with the technology. If not, that application will become between three to five years as a legacy. So that is why it's legacy. And the headache is maintaining a legacy system is a, another cost for the company. As an example, I know one of clients is still maintaining the .NET 2.0 application, uh, one of the US clients. So, but they cannot move out uh, to migrate. Uh, we, we call this application modernization. To do that, they have to get a huge, uh, absorb a huge cost, uh, automating and converting entire feature set to this. And the uh, client is not willing to get the risk of the guarantee that software will function as it is. Okay. So that's the headache with legacy system. Shadow IT and governance. So how we can monitor all these tools, logs and everything, security protocols, and how much effort you have to put. You know, when you are developing an application, uh, basically internet exposed web application, we have to go with VAPD testing. If you have properly doing vulnerability assessments. So those things, how we are going to secure them, password hashing, there are a lot of things going to involve. Leverage existing technologies. So it's like connecting with other applications, APIs, things. So security and compliance is all that. So all together, what I'm going to explain is challenges in building application. If you are developing a native application, we have to face all these challenges and we all these depends on taking time. Taking time means more resources, more budget allocation. So custom is reluctant to pay Say, as an example, if you are giving a one simple, say, I'll take your requirement right now, you want to track what are the licenses issued for your own stuff and to uh, mark up a price uh, for the project. And end of the month, you have to get an invoice or kind of for this department. We have to give this is the invoice for the month based on the license usage. Say, so think about if you are going to develop on this native, uh, on native uh, language, it will take a month. And you have to, if they are going to do the VAP test and everything, you have to face a lot of things, hashing, everything, and SQL databases, structures. There are a lot of things if you're creating this, a lot of hours and everything. So this is an internal project. So why Power Apps we introduce? The key is Power App goes as enterprise application. So if you have need, if you have needs in automating existing manual processes within the organization, within your enterprise, Power Up is a best solution, low cost, low code, no cost solution because it is easy to develop. We will see experience in this one. So Microsoft next big opportunities. So how this is a stats, what we are saying. So Satya Nadella, uh, which is uh, chairman of the Microsoft is uh, explaining. Microsoft 365, Dynamics 365, Microsoft 365 office package, Dynamics 365, the IERP, and the Power Platform on top of what we are doing with Azure is the core what we are doing as a company. So Microsoft key um, business uh, areas were in Azure, but later strains and Microsoft, uh, now it's going to be AI and everything. They build an ecosystem. Well, this, when business came into with Microsoft 365, they can achieve everything to using those. So we need to really enable the portfolio and not solve just one business problem. Our business problem became how do we build a thousand apps at a scale, not how do we build one app. Okay. So, well, right. so what, what we are talking about the key things, how do we how do we build thousand apps at scale, not how do we build one app. So basically when we are building the uh, five years, 10 years ago, in, within the companies, they were uh, having a goal like, okay, we will build a one solution which can have all the business requirements. But, in not in that day, but after three years, they will face an issue when they have a single lab covering all the features. Because if you want to move out with the technology, as an example, so if your application right now in ASP.NET 2.0, 2.5, say uh, web forms, <clears throat> if you want to migrate to uh, ASP.NET code, you cannot do that. You have to develop it from the sketch. So again, you have going, you have to invest money on same thing again. But if you are having multiple applications, you can work on one by one. And even you can have the option to select. Okay, this application will go with Power Apps. This application, okay, we can go with Power Apps. We are going to with uh, native language. 
Likewise, there are opportunities. That is the uh, explanation in here. So high growth opportunities, 7x growth in power of zero users uh, in financial year 19, 362% uh, ROI for power ups and flows. Uh, you will learn, like, <clears throat> when you want to get done, we have power automation, power platform, and the power platform, we have power app, power automation, RPA, and power BI, all those four. Microsoft is the leader, faster, local platform leader, Gardner, and it is BI platform leader, cost solution leader. Likewise, these are the stats. Okay. Why we are talking about Power Apps today, we need to go faster. That is uh, one of the key requirements. This application, the application we are talking today, need to be live faster. IT application development is uh, gravitating towards low code and high productivity application platforms to minimize cost, support rapidly changing business needs. The rapidly changing business is one another key component. How fast you can do a change in the application? With Power App, it's if so easy. It's a single to change, drag and drops and everything. And you don't want to write any backend code or anything. <clears throat> we already have the data. <clears throat> Essential part of this hierarchy application platform is that they natively integrate with existing business data. Say example, CRM or ERP system and existing business process application. In here, I will explain, we already have the data. In here, they are giving the max of example. So there are separate uh, several ERPs in the world, other applications, say HR application, but there are chances where you cannot uh, have all your requirement in one application. As example, say if you have a finance application ERP, it uh, it might uh, not having a feature to track your uh, attendance, but your salary is going to process through this ERP. I'm giving an example. So what you can do is you can build an application of Power Apps where you can track people attendance, the out of office hours and everything. And then you can pass that information to ERP saying, okay, this is the entire uh, company staff attendance. Then that can be used for the salary process. If a particular company is someone has reported like this. Okay. So then. Microsoft Power Platform. Okay, so these are key things, uh, the uh, high level picture of Power Platform. So Power BI for the business analytics, Power Apps for application development, Power Automation for process automation, Power Automate come with four workflows and uh, desktop automation, two parts, and Power Virtual Agents, intelligent virtual agents. You can build bots and everything. So when you come to the uh, communications, the data layer, you can use REST or data APIs. You can use inbuilt data connectors. You can use AI builders. So as example, if you want to do, uh, as example, say invoice. Okay. Uh, in um, business scenarios, uh, we are getting invoices from our suppliers for the items we purchase from them. So right now what is happening in the manual process, we take the uh, invoice and they may go to our ERP and just type it. One human, is uh, involved. So think about the same way, uh, good example, KYC, know your uh, customer in banking. There's an application when you are going to fill, a, uh, open a bank in uh, account, savings or loan, everything, KYC. So all these we do hard copies. Think about how many KYC is getting involved uh, within the bank within a day. So if one person is fully allocated to enter those data into the system, it's a waste. I mean, He's just entering there. But with these tools, you can automate. Using the AI Builder, uh, you scan the copy, it is stored on the SharePoint library, and automatically extract the information, and use the power automation RPA, property process automation, to uh, get the information, automatically log into the system, feed the data. That kind of an entire automation, cut down human efforts, you can achieve with this power platform. And common data services, there are a set of services available in Microsoft Power Platform. Starting from uh, power, uh, your data with Power BI. So you know, like uh, the, to start with Power BI, the good example is to make a decision. Okay, think, imagine you have Excel sheet with raw data, say invoice numbers and totals, uh, it will product wise, sales rep wise. There are so many uh, things like that. Okay, just uh, give me an answer as option A or B. I'm saying I'm giving you 
two data sets. One is that row Excel sheet with all the numbers, data, and everything. That is option A. Option B, I'm giving. Well, right now, what you're looking at the interface, this with pie charts, graphics, colors, and everything. If I ask a question uh, through the invoice, who is the uh, best performing customer? Best performing means uh, who is the highest purchase from us? Use the uh, data for that customer, which they uh, say uh, information is like the presentation layer is helpful for you to make that decision. Having the data on Excel sheet with the numbers, or having data on this kind of a dashboard layer with colors and everything, a graphical way. What do you think? Option A or B. So option B is like because we why we say when we are doing the UI UX also, there are a set of terms, colors and everything. Even when you are doing a presentation, now a lot of people are advising the colors and the text how we are using. That message go direct to your brain, uh, through eyes rather than you know, last watching that native data. So, Power BI is a presentation layer. You can have multiple data in any place, but through Power BI, you can build analytical dash, uh, dashboard, say, not only a presentation layer, but you can build forecasting everything. So, make sense of your data with ease and drive quickly, confident decisions across. Also. This is what I explained. Second thing, reduce the amount of time spent. Uh, Probably data and spend more time getting answers with AI driven insight. So, so as example, if you are just trying to build a, this kind of a chart from native language, it's neat chart. But this is pre built as uh, components are available. As soon as you connect the data, you can have this kind of charts and everything. It's easy. Then remove the complexity and manage multiple analytic solutions. Say, in a one single dashboard, you know Power BI, you can interact with the dashboard. You can retrieve all the dashboard get changed likewise. That interactive. So everything you can achieve this one. Even Power Platform, we have done with software clients. Uh, after this one, I will demo a few applications, what we have done. Then you can see, have a better understanding when uh, Chamnit is doing his demo, how you can do development. Okay. Then uh, anatomy of insights, any data, I'm going to not take uh, time on this. Any data you can connect to Excel to SharePoint to SQL to any data you can connect. And uh, one thing is you want to have understand when you're developing a Power BI dashboard, there are two mechanisms, direct query and data cache. So you can save money and you can uh, interact with the technology when you have a proper understanding how it works. So try to understand the concept of all the technologies before you go with the syntax. That is one piece of advice I'm giving. Most of the people nowadays focusing on syntax. Okay, how to write if condition in C How to write a while in uh, Java? How to write a follow up in C double plus? Don't go with the syntax. First, go with the concept. Concept is why should I use a for or while or do while in this program? Okay, that is the best approach. When you have the right concept, then you can easily figure out the syntax. Then uh, that is why I'm saying the concept of developing Power BI or Power Platform, you need to have that understanding. Don't focus on the syntax. Okay, how to write this code? Don't focus on that first. Then uh, seamless integration, you can connect with anything, uh, extendability module, no limits, embedded insight into everyday use apps. Even Power BI, you can connect with uh, your internal applications you can use. Design experience, uh, data visualization, native intelligence, big data support. Talk about Power BI, you can have everything. Okay, now coming to Power Apps. So under Power Platform, we talk about Power uh, BI, now Power Apps. Okay. So Power Apps, in here it's a summary, but I will come on to this way. When you're starting a Power App, you can uh, approach two mechanisms. One is model driven, another one is canvas. So this is we call uh, no code, low code application. And there are three categories when you come when we categorize developers. So one is citizen developers, developers, pro developers. Okay. So citizen developers are people who doesn't have IT knowledge, but they do operation. They also can go and they can see, they can do 
these all the application by themselves. Mostly they uh, get the approach of going with model driven application. Second thing is uh, Canvas application. I would uh, recommend for pro developers, pro developers who are experienced in uh, Power Apps and everything. You have the total control, what you can do, what you can achieve, even the UI, UX model, and everything. Say from the scratch, you are developing the application. Uh, remove IT development backlogs by empowering limits of business uh, to build their own apps. So this uh, this is for the citizen developers. Say, even in your, uh, say, we say traditional business, not IT companies. So when they have a requirement, they always come and say, to the IT department, I need a requirement, I need a solution for this, I need an app for this. But Power Apps, we emphasize, we encourage citizen developers, just go and open, just type with the co-pilot, the later release. It's just a matter of you are explaining your requirement to the Power Apps. They need to automatically with the module, the structure, and everything. So that's the beauty of this Power Platform. And the collaborative business users can immediately start to solve pieces uh, business problem while professional developers incorporate advanced functionalities. See, that is the citizen developer, pro developers different. So you can start, say the example is pity cash. It's a small requirement. So if you want to track down within the business organization, day-to-day -day operational costs, say requesting a taxi, you don't, you, right now maybe you're going with the finance department, signing a paper and everything. How about having a small power app? You just type it on the application and it will go to the finance approval, approve it directly from your, your request approves. This is the uh, token code or something. That is called uh, business optimization. So finance team, if you give a proper uh, uh, education, say if you educate them properly, they can start building the application and pro developers come and include, say extra functions like incorporating that with uh, existing ERP. That is how we save the time and uh, money with AI builder. Anyone developing apps can re readily integrate AI functions that automate tasks like image classification and language translation. There are so many things you can do. So anatomy of Power Apps. Any platform support. So Power Apps, you can track GPS, you can use camera and everything. Even if you want to scan the barcode without extra cost, you can develop an application on Power Apps. You can scan the barcodes and everything. Then share apps like documents. Uh, say, if you are developing a native application, say as if this task, if you start to develop using a native language, uh, assume ASP.NET Core, if your client asking, I need to have a mobile application for this, what do you have to do? Again, you have to budget and you have to start working on developing a mobile application, which support, mostly we have to use a cross-platform technology, if customers are able to have the mobile application on iOS and Android. So avoid this beauty of this power platform, what you can achieve is when you develop the application with the simple clip, it's available on Android and iOS. You, If you have done a, a, a publish to the uh, Apple Store, Google Store, Google Play, you know the hassle we are working. So we have to wait till the audit report comes. We have to approve everything. It's not like Power Apps. Microsoft have given a public application called Power Platform, Power Apps. When you log in with Microsoft 365 account to that platform, all the application which you have published is available on Microsoft. So that is the beauty. That is why I say the time saving approach is Power Platform. When customers are asking, okay, I want to say, as you, when you have a, a application online, if customers are asking, I need to do this label change, you still you have to go with the same development cycle and published and wait for the verification and everything. At least it will take one day to two days to publish a small label change. But if you develop the same application power, just a matter of picking the publish. It all replicated and it's all available. Then seamless integration, you can integrate with uh, Power BI, there are a lot of things. Uh, extensibility model, no limits, get pro developer to build your control connectors if you need something. So I will prove this one. I will showcase for your application what our team has done. Then you will see what kind of things you can do. Then design experience. You can just drag and drop everything you can do and you can have your own imagination when with Power Platform. If you are going with the canvas, you have the total control. 
data connected connect to over 230 services and apps with built-in connectors for everything from other p to zendesk to any even uh, say docusign everything is their connectors built-in data platform use common data services to store updated standardizing common data models app logic if you can understand formulas in excel you can uh, add logic to your power app we call uh, uh, power queries uh, for this fx uh, you can write your own with the native language it's not so easy okay and uh, another thing i want to highlight with coming to the power platform so um, so data platform so license there are three license type in all in power platform earlier right now microsoft is going to change i think uh, as for the last reading of mine uh, it's a one license uh, there's a license concept is uh, there are standard features and premium features for the all the microsoft licenses right now you are having business basics to business standard anything upwards you have the power up standard features available the standard means basically you can Credit power uh, power app is sharp with this, and again you can develop this uh, application, and you can publish them to the uh, uh, to users to use it. Second thing is power app premium. Premium means if you want to connect with AI builder like external parties and everything, even if you want to use database, you have to have power app premium licenses. When you call the premium licenses, there are three categories: uh, power app, uh, so premium per application, premium per user. Premium per application and pay as you go. That was the license uh, verse it says. Uh, premium per application means if you are developing one application with uh, premium uh, features, you can say, I am only allowing these people to use this application. So you assign them premium per application. It has a separate charge, uh, assume like a, a $10 per user per month, that kind of a license involving what application users then other model is premium per user it means you are getting a license for a user as a premium power app which involves with 20 dollars something around that then that user can access any number of premium applications then other approach is pay as you go pay as you go model how it works is you assign pay as you go license for the application say this month if we are using three users you charge only three next month it will increase to the five it will charge to the file. Unlike other models, you don't want to pay in advance for the uh, entire year, but you can. You have the uh, flexibility to shift. But right now, Microsoft have taken the approach uh, going with uh, Microsoft Premium uh, license, twenty dollars per user, because they are uh, giving so many features in here. So automate and uh, integrate business process with Microsoft Flow. So Microsoft Flow is the third scenario under combat power uh, platform say running flows so if you want to send an email if you want to generate some uh, logic compass logic to run on backend if you want to read set of uh, data from an excel sheet that kind of things basic uh, examples you can achieve through with this flow automation if you go with rpa same concept robbery process automation you can just uh, uh, train the models on how to log into the application click on this feed this data uh, with the AI upgrade, likewise. So automate and model business process across your apps and services. From simple automation to advanced, scenarios with branch, loops, and more. Trigger action, grant app tools, and get notification right where you work. So basically, say as example, uh, in this year's scenario, when the invoice ready, end of the month, if you want to notify uh, to the users who are working in finance, you can send an email, you can send a team notification. So likewise, these kind of things you can uh, done through Microsoft Flows. If you need an approval, say as example, one requirement is when you are, before you assign a license, you need to get approval. So then you can write a flow, which when you assign the license, the approval request go to the nominee through an email. Uh, say we call lazy approvals for that. Just a, a approval button on the email when you click the approve, the document get approved, that kind of things. You can get done through these power flows. Uh, anatomy of workflows, hundred of triggers. There are triggers like when, say as example, if you want to start a flow, as soon as the data is entered to the SharePoint list, you can have that kind of. 
and you can have schedules every day uh, at 8 a.m. This need, uh, flow needs to be run. That kind of triggers, there are so many triggers. Share flow like documents. You can share these flows with your uh, respective developers, like the, just a click, and this person also can work on, uh, on the same things, do changes. Seamless integration, directly integrate with Power Apps, Power BI, Microsoft Jira. Like if you want to feed data, if you want to get data, and there are API sources. So if you want to expose your SharePoint list to external to receive data from a different application, you can uh, build a flow, which always uh, like a webhook, monitoring, waiting for the uh, re uh, say request from other data features from other applications. So these things you can achieve these power flows. Extensibility model, no limits, automate advanced scenario with multiple steps. You can go. It's a simple. We will show you. Uh, I'm not sure whether within two hours we can do actually, but as the plan, after this one, we will sh showcase a few demos and uh, how to start application that demo. And let's plan on how you can build your application together with us, our team. Then thousands of actions, data connectivity, built-in data platform, same thing like Power BI and Power Apps and Power Flows. Same thing because it's called under Power Platform. Put all your data to work with common data services. Say, as an example, uh, there are common data services. Simply this signing happens through Microsoft 365. Accessing their emails, sending email as a user send, and their logging information, everything, connecting AD, reading your other organization, employee profiles, everything, those kind of, being dynamic 365. Uh, if you are having integrations with uh, existing 365 business center, busy customers, you can directly access the da their data environments uh, using Power Platform, using these common data services. Uh, extend data and process to external and anonymous with portals. Enterprise grade management and control. This is the other uh, key importance. Why we always highlight Power Platform is more secure. So I uh, in this, I start the session highlighting that if you want to have a, this uh, kind of a native application developed, you have to go with VAPT test and so many things because it's public. But the beauty is this application always come under Microsoft 365 umbrella. To access this one, first you have to sign in, authenticate and authorize through Microsoft 365 user login. So think about hacking that login, doing phishing attacks and everything to that login. We don't want to worry about protecting our login because we are using Microsoft 365. That is the first part. Second thing is this application enterprise. If you log in through valid enterprise account only, people can see your application. So it is not public available to do any phishing attacks or anything. Then the other thing is uh, when the enterprises, more secured applications, uh, enterprises like banks, insurance, there are so many things. They wanted to control who can access what, how they can access. Uh, in the Microsoft, they have interview portal, company portals, then we can publish the application. So basically, point is here, enterprise grade management and control means there are a set of features by default available which developer doesn't want to worry about. Again, saving of time and cost. So you can manage centrally everything who can access what and they can see and admin set to provide full audit logs who access the which application. You don't want to develop this in your application. There are things who access the Power App, who access the SharePoint list, like so many things are there. So built in connected over 230 cloud services, file database, APIs, everything. These are a few uh, uh, application highlighted here. You can use this seamless hybrid connectivity onto premise system by the on premise data gateway, build custom connectors for everyone to leverage. So everything is available. Okay. Amplified professional developers productivity. They, this doesn't mean going with low code, no code. Doesn't mean like you are degrading from pro developer to a citizen developer. It's like, say, uh, there's a good uh, advertisement uh, did by Microsoft about AI. The If I take the summary, uh, so it was explaining, uh, say, I will ask this. We, we all are interested about crickets. Okay, so the cricket, the performance of the player allies with uh, the say the winning approach of the everything, the performance, your appreciation, everything allies with the tool 
which the batsman is using. I mean, the batsman is a bat, or the how batsman use that tool, how we control the tool, the bat, which is the which determine the uh, progress or winning uh, approach of the game. Out of the option A is the batsman, how we handle the bat, the way he use that tool, or the bat. He, he need to be have a better bat to play or anything. That's option B. Which option is uh, determine the uh, say uh, give you the uh, answer? I mean, answer the uh, to winning approach of he will score this much of what matters? Option A or B? Detail. Don't worry, this is not an uh, exam. No one going to score it. I'm just asking question. My question is to make sure this match is going to win or this player is going to score a century of a half a century. This matters, option A. The how this batsman uh, handled the bat, how we uh, use the bat, that's A. Option B is bat, the tool. That should be pro in a proper way. What is the answer? Option A. Can you raise your hands, please? Or option A, then uh, rather listening, I can see. Who say option A? Okay. So the, that's option A, right? Because that's the called skill. It doesn't matter the tool. The same uh, question. If there is a good painter, okay? So the matter is the uh, which pencil he used to draw the art or about his skill, how we behave, the control the pencil to draw that art. Which one? The how we use the pencil to draw the art. That is called the skill. That matters. Not about in here the same way, but of convincing through that that between yourself. The matters is what you do with the technology, not about the what is the technology. So in here, what we are selling the productivity means if power platform, what we are going to achieve with power platform is the matter, not power, what power platform can do. Not only power platform, for all the technology, it's about you, not about the tool, what you use. So we are talking about, again, the last example is, think about the uh, COVID duration. If this happens during your parents time, what will happen? Will they be, say, almost we spend uh, one, one to one and a half to two years isolated. We were working remotely. Everything went online. Think about that crisis happened during our parents, say, 50 years ago. What kind of a crisis? There is no way of communication. There was no way of uh, going to the work. Imagine. But right now, you have all your information, all the technical this at your fingertips. So what it matters is what you do with the technology. Keep that in mind. Okay. So this what they highlight is developers, what we can do with that. Okay. Now we are going to the demo. Uh, before uh, Chamiti start his demonstration, what I do is I will showcase few application what our uh, team has done. Uh, I'm not going to show all the enterprise applications. But I'm going to show you a few applications. So Power Platform can be accessed through like these windows in here. Okay. If not, you can integrate Power Platform into Teams, like so Teams like this. Okay. Even you can access this one, the browser like this. This is my browser. So there are so many ways you can access this application. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, showcase a few things uh, uh, using uh, what we have done. So this is a small warehouse application. I'm starting from this warehouse application. You can control everything uh, in good receive nodes. See the components what we have built. Okay. Uh, let me start from me. All these and even you can update this uh, palette information, barcode printing, barcode scan. I see this one doesn't have information. So 
this is which we application develop using Canvas application. That is why I'm just emphasizing, highlighting what you have to concern is what you can do with the technology. Normally, people doesn't think about how flexible features we are going to offer for our clients. So the user service interface and everything, what the control we are going to give. This one and very specific, take very simple application as our uh, corporate cafe. This is for lunch ordering application for the company. See, you can uh, request a CCS mobile application. You don't have to go and just ask this. Okay. So people can see uh, who have ordered the lunch for the day. I will just change yesterday. The summary, this much of lunch you need, categorization. This is one example. Only. You can imagine what, how many number of things you can automate within the enterprise right now, which happens so manually. Okay. So this is one thing. And we have done tender dashboard. Even you know about secret center, right? Game. How the secret center is happening? This is a challenge. Every Christmas, every company is having the secret center game. So this application, what was done is, uh, let me see, I'm not sure if it's working. So you know the game, how it's happening? So you just select the uh, team members. Then you just do a referral kind of thing. Each one has to go and uh, give a, uh, just pick up a uh, name. Then secretly you have to present the thing. Same thing, what you have done is, through Power Apps, when you click on this application, what will happen is, it will access the AD. Now this is I'm picking. This application will, when I click it, this application will randomly select to one person and it will give the information for me. This is selection part. Then the secret center, what you are doing, he can see, okay, this person has to give the gift to this person and you can go and update to whom. See? This is the one I lost selector. Now I have to present a gift to this person. How about the animation center? This is one of senior developers was with us. Deal with that, we build this. See, in a different funny way. Okay. In when I am studying, one of my teachers give me one example. And say, don't do with the typical standards of building application. Make sure your user is going to interact with application. So, as example, he gave me a funny example. Say, assuming right now, if there is a say required field, if it's uh, inputting invalid information, what will happen is the input is not valid. It will send valid information. That is the error message. He said, what about thing? If you just prompt that error message, he just give me, if a hands come out, out of the screen and give us smash to the face, that kind of a thing gives us that kind of interactive things. So this is the way uh, these guys did. And uh, I'm not the admin. So there's the way I can see. And you can go and just update the uh, information. So these kind of things. And for the education, for the kids, math genius. The answer in things four plus nine. Uh, 30. Okay. Answer in things. So if you have the right understanding, right concept of using, you can do these things easily. Okay. So then another example is, I will show you the one last thing. There are so many things which we have done. Okay, I will just do. It was about during the COVID, over the New Year celebration, which we did with our apps. Okay, as example, blind for breaking game. So it is hard to find which one is going to be. Likewise. You can build these kind of games. Uh, and the last thing is basketball. Okay, these two, these are not animations, huh? Real time is calculating this force, gravity, and everything. This is what you do with technology. It doesn't miss always select, input, anything. So I'm giving you it's the same thing, the basketball, how we, how our team, was incorporated in our room with this game. Bring us. See, same thing. <clears throat> okay. So, this is a matter how you do it. There are so many things our teams have done. 
uh, even auditing uh, this summer I cannot present due to the NDAs uh, what we have. This is employee leave and agreements we can present. So how the everything how we are used. Leave type defining and entire process is done through this one. Okay. Now it's time to go and experience the power app, how we can start applications through Canva and everything. So now I'm inviting Chamit to uh, do a demonstration within next one hour. So just recapping what I presented within this hour is first thing is about Power Platform, how we can do what we can achieve this Power Platform. And we did uh, so many examples also, but the key throughout that one hour is always think about what you can do with the technology, not about what technology can do. Okay? Don't misunderstand or deviate from that statement. It matters always what you do with the technology. There is nothing called, I cannot do anything. There is always you can do things with the technology. Okay, so Chamit, the uh, stage over here before that. So you were watching at this, I uh, noticed you were listening. So any questions? And I honestly, I saw there were some uh, distractions as well. Uh, working on other stuff, which is obvious, it's uh, in a working day. So any uh, questions to ask? Anything? Related to technology, anything? No questions. Good. It's convincing me two things. First one, you understood everything in a proper way. Second thing, you didn't understand a single thing. Okay, I believe it should be first one. You got all the points what I explained to your mind. If not, if you didn't uh, get anything to your mind, well, let me know. Uh, so then we can uh, discuss uh, things. Uh, call that has my numbers and everything. So I'm just handing over the stage to uh, Chamit. So Chamit, over to you. You can start with uh, explaining the uh, power platform, how to access it, and the brief about uh, the environment and uh, creating a sharepoint like small collaboration. After that, uh, let's plan for having a brainstorming session for your requirement, doing the proper BA and the architecture part and the development part, and two days for the go live for the application. Let's try to get a two weeks time period and let's start uh, developing and get it done. Okay, thank you. Let me talk to you. Hi, uh, thank you, Shamide. Uh, okay, uh, let me share my screen. Okay, uh, can you see my screen? Okay. So, uh, Basically, uh, uh, I will deliver you uh, how to create a uh, uh, applications with Canvas, uh, Canvas uh, mod. Uh, then uh, I will uh, explain you how to uh, go with the uh, current operations. Uh, first of all, uh, to go to Power por uh, Portal, we need to uh, right make our apps. I guess. Then uh, you will be redirected to uh, this uh, interface, which is Power Portal. In here, you can see all the Power applications which is uh, created uh, within your organization. You can see what are the applications available in, uh, in this portal. You can create applications using a uh, create button, and uh, there are more options. Then you can uh, go to a SharePoint, Power Automate, and Teams, likewise. So I'll be going to SharePoint. So in here, uh, I'll uh, making a, a SharePoint site. So which is for uh, for a sample project. May may uh, shall uh me uh net me then make a pack recording a pair of kunham luku 
ऑडियो फाइल में वीडियो फाइल लग में नहीं था मेरे को देखा था कड़ा करने विद्या थी ना ना जब मेरे को स्टॉप कर लेंगे आई मत रिकॉर्ड हाँ आई मत स्टॉप कर ले राइट मेरे को लेकिन रिकॉर्ड देने का नहीं है रिकॉर्ड देखा कर रहा हूँ ना ओ एक नहीं नहीं तो वो नहीं हिम हिम आने हिम कर रहा हूँ सो मेरे को स्टॉप कर ले सॉरी यार इंटरप्ट कर लाना मेरे शामिल स्टाफ कला 